Yeah, this is a tricky question because if there's a your song, your own song of the band, uh, which you hate to play because yeah. fans still want, want, want to hear it and you hate it, if I there's... Um, Not hate, hate is no, yeah, hate, hate's a definitely a strong word. Uh, we've got an old song called Rattlesnake, which we di we wrote it years ago, and yeah, it was a long time ago, 2011, I think. Yeah, um, and it's a it's a good song, but our style since then has moved on so much that if we were to just start playing it now, it would sound out of place. So, and th there's a few songs like that which are good songs, but we've moved on. So, like, if we were to play them now, it would be a bit, be weird. Yeah. And on the other side, is there a song, like every song? Um, a song I, I love playing that everyone hates. <laughs> <laughs> no, the song what you songs? love and that moves you emotionally. Not, not your song, any song in the world. <coughs> um, I don't think I'd be sat here if there wasn't. Uh, he's like, who can I draw? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, there's a million songs, really. Um, more recently, fuck, um, what have we been listening to? Have we been listening to anything cool recently? Jimmy Nail. Jimmy Nail. Jimmy Nail. <laughs> Crocodile Shoes. Um, well, actually, we listen to a lot of Abba in the van. Yeah, Abba. Abba. Yeah, we we all like ABBA a lot, uh, which might not be. Yeah, maybe Tom. Okay. <laughs> Tom's got a way to come yet, before he um, truly appreciates ABBA. Um, yeah, I think uh, ABBA is good. I, I mean, it's probably not what you'd expect, but I think for us, it like they just tick all the boxes with like songwriting and stuff and. I think there's a lot of it. Uh, it does it does kind of move you? I think I don't know. We were just listening to their albums in the van on one of these long journeys, and it was just like they just they just hit something. And it doesn't have to be like emotionally move you, like make you sad or whatever. But it's just it still moves us. Um, yeah, Abba. And is there any guilty pleasure songs of yours? Guilty pleasure is a weird one because it's it like exist. it shouldn't exist. It's like if it's not guilty, it's yeah, what sort of like is that like a Catholic guilt thing? Some sort of like hangover of like people feeling bad about liking something. Why would you feel bad about? I like Nickelback. I like the album Civil Side Up, and I have done since I was about twelve when it came out, and I'm totally fine with that <laughs> <laughs> because that is an amazing album. I don't listen to them any more of their new stuff, but I like Silver Side Up. I'm not. I don't feel bad about that. I don't know why you would. How is it with the vocals? Because you are singing every night, and I don't get it. How you can sing every night? Yeah, it takes its toll. I think you um, just like if you train for a marathon, which you know, it's like no, it's <laughs> it's not that impressive. But it's like if you train for a marathon, you just get used to it. Um, it's just muscles, like any other muscles, really. It's like if if you know what you're doing and there's technique there which there is then it doesn't it's just like warming up for working out or anything just like it's just it's just technique and practice really you get, it gets easier as well when you're on tour like it takes a while like be, like to about now about halfway through i start to like go like uh, i don't really need to warm up as much i'm kind of in a flow with it you know you just using the muscles every day just make, like yeah makes them strong I was just going to say that um, it's not as much the performing of the singing that knackers your voice out when we're touring. It's like smoking relentlessly every night and drinking and chatting in bar, like chatting really loudly for how many hours after a show. Is yeah, <laughs> why we lose our voices. But um, yeah, I've had to I've had to sing really gently for the last few shows because I did my throat in. Um, but we'll we'll be back in full swing. We've been I think we've been doing all right. You sound fucking great. <laughs> and there, there are two fun questions. If the band was a drink, what would it be? Drink. Drink, yeah. Dream soda. You had a dream soda. Yeah, dream soda. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Any other? Mm-hmm. It's like a blind date question. I love it. Yeah.
we're we're quite, be alcoholic. We're quite a boozy band. <laughs> we, we do drink alcohol. Does that mean we are alcohol? I think we're kind of subtle. There's like subtleties to our taste. And I think we're in apple sours. Yeah, I, mm, I think there's joke. depth. All right, okay. Yeah, that's that's not a very subtle nice. drink. Yeah, but, uh, I think there's depth. <laughs> I think uh, maybe like a Long Island iced tea. It's pretty lethal. <laughs> but really there's strong depth lethal there. There's a sweet, sweet element to it. Sweet and sour. There's like, yeah. it's refreshing. I think it's we're, really I think we're like a, a, a gin and tonic with essence of cucumber. Really? Yeah, just with all these Maybe complex you botanicals. Just find middle-aged, <laughs> yeah. middle-aged woman. I don't think we can come to an agreement on this. I think, no. I think it requires further discussion. Yeah. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last question is about tattoos. If you can show me some. <laughs> I'm one tattoo. Yeah, this is my tattoo. Mm -hmm. I can't tell the angle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you get that? Yeah, you know.